This is 13810 Piedmont Vista Drive. It has some of the greenest grass in the neighborhood. This has been on the market 125 days. The original list price was $599. It's been on the market uh, reduced on April 8th to $550,000. So just about five weeks at this current price. The sellers have done just about everything that, that buyers notice uh, as far as improvements on the house including uh, repairing some trim. Coming in the front door we have an open entryway with a wide open dining room. Nice classic but contemporary chandelier. It's open to it's a two-story foyer open to the second level. The formal sitting area, there is wood blinds already in place which can cost a few thousand dollars to put throughout the whole house. We have the library or study with built-in bookshelves. There is an area over here where you could install closets if you were to close off this area and make this then into a bedroom where there is a full bath with a shower. The family room area, the ceiling fan, windows, gas fireplace. This is a newer carpet. I'm not sure that it's brand new. It has sort of the, the flight flex or speckles in it to hide dirt. Open kitchen with an eat-in breakfast area. There's two wall ovens as well as a microwave. These are G profile side-by-side -side refrigerator, cooktop four burner, double basin sink, and dishwasher. The morning room, ceramic tile. Stepping out onto the deck, it looks as though the deck has been refinished recently. We have views of the pond, and I believe it's the fourth tee here. And we have the walkout stairs to the basement area. You notice that the uh, neighbor here on the right has planted some, some nice trees for privacy. Off the kitchen, we have the large pantry and the laundry area and a two car garage. Going upstairs to the second level. Open views to the foyer in the family room. Master bedroom with vaulted ceilings. Ceiling fan. It's a pretty large master bedroom with extra sitting area. Master bathroom has double vanities and a two person jetted tub, shower, and separate wa uh, water closet. There's a single walk in closet with some built in shelves. In the center of the upstairs area, we have a bedroom. And this is where we have some attic access. Large closet. And then we have bedroom number th three. This is probably uh, nine feet by 11 feet. 
there's one bathroom serving these three bedrooms up here. This one's probably 10 feet by 11 feet. No linen closet. Coming down the basement stairs from the main level, we open up into an unfinished uh, bar area. Here's a rough end for a sink. You could put refrigerator, you could put cabinets and other countertops in here. And you have the media room area. It's an expansive finished basement. Here we have it already pre-wired for a uh, big screen TV, center and left and right speakers, as well as the uh, wires coming in for the video. And over here they actually had a thoughtful uh, thing where we could put this, the DVD and cable box with the wires and, and sound is already set up to go throughout. I don't know if you'd have some sort of a pool table or, or something over in this area. Stepping in back into here, a little bit of storage. We have the Cat5 wiring box. Some more storage. We have full bathroom with a shower in the basement. So for some of these houses we're looking at where the basement isn't finished, this is a property priced attractively at 550000 that already has a finished basement. Mechanical space, storage, again more storage, large hot water heater, sump pump, walk out stairs through the French doors to the golf course area. I like to think of this area that it could be an exercise room. If you were to put a treadmill uh, they already have a hookup here for a TV for ellipticals and then here is a guest room come through glass French doors to a nice size room with some raised ceilings recessed lighting a nice closet this would be a perfect place for guests to feel like they were in their own private area